Hello again, Tom Zarenskis here, and I'd like to discuss the IPA, International Phonetic Association, notation versus true spell phonetics, and which is best to, to teach children and even uh, English as a second language. Here is the sentence or short story with all sounds of U.S. English in it. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again. And you can see it in true spell if you just copy this sentence or story and put it in the converter at truespell.com. You get that quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again. And uh, here is what IPA1 would look like. This is the converter at upodownupodown.com. That quick beige fox jumped in the air over each thin dog. Look out, I shout, for he's foiled you again. Uh, unfortunately, on this one, uh, it doesn't show the accents. They do have one that does show the accents or s stress patterns in words. This IPA2 that you can get at the Mod Modellino converter does show the, the stress points, the accent points, or or emphasis points in the in the words. In true spell, you don't need to show stress on the first syllable but you do need to show stress on a second syllable which is done by doubling a consonant in front of the second syllable. Now the interesting thing is all these words in blue differ from the IPA notation in IPA 1. IPA 2 reads that quick beige fox jumped in the this is uh, the long e sound which is pretty smart because it recognized that there's a vowel sound starting the next uh, syllable of the of the next word in the air over each thin dog look out i shout for fur i think that but they um, they realize that uh, that says sometimes for is said fur and that often happens in US English he's foiled you again and the stress so the stress on the second syllable so you see not all PAs are the same and all the and while true spell is typable by anybody and writing writable by anybody very easily just using letters of the alphabet this is very hard to type and has really thwarted typing phonetics I think and the best way to go is to do true spell you can read phonetics and you can write phonetics